to the gym before we dive into this video. Two vlogs in a row, I'm going crazy? This won't really be a vlog, just the beginning. I wanna get this gym workout in before we start filming. And I figured I'd take you guys along with me. Cheers. For those of you who care, we are gonna be doing a push day. So chest, tries, as well as a little bit of deltoid. See you guys here. Come, come out. I just waste away, don't know what life about. Another day go by, don't know what got me down. Drum blows, yeah, I got the drum blows, yeah. Walk down like who you, yeah. There's something you get used to, yeah. Go pay the drum blows, yeah. It's just the drum blows, yeah. get to the actual topic of this video. Let's go. What is up guys? First time I'm doing a video standing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little montage, little vlog. I'm gonna start trying to sprinkle those in here since I got a lot of good feedback on my last video. Now let's deep dive into the actual topic. Today I have a list of my top 10 recommended gifts for fish keepers within the hobby. I figured since the holidays are among us, Black Friday is coming soon, there wouldn't be a better time to dish out this video. As I built out this list, I tried to look at it from a lens of items that fish keepers wouldn't necessarily have because these items aren't a necessity per se, but regardless would be useful. Everything listed will be linked down in the description. I tried to make sure everything was under $30. Hopefully it helps out, let's dive in. The first item is an Eheim auto fish feeder this thing is really good especially for those of you who will go on vacation and you don't really have anyone to fish sit for your tanks you basically put the fish food in here and you could program this thing to feed once twice three times a day you do also have the adjustability of how much food you want to dispense on each spin so what you do is you basically put this on the tank it accommodates every kind of rim size see how thick it is it just rotates and dispenses the food accordingly I did a bit of research and this is definitely one of the better ones out there so eheim fish feeder definitely recommend item number two is the casa smart plus these are a game changer especially for those of you who want to use a timer for your lights while the mechanical timers are cool to an extent you definitely have a lot more flexibility with these this links to an app so you could theoretically turn on and off your tanks whenever you want to. But what I have here is a pack of four, but you can buy them individually if you want to test it out. If you have a Google Home or Alexa, you can connect this so that you could voice activate your switches. 
Highly recommend the Casa Wi-Fi Smart Plug if you want to make your fish room or any of your tanks quote unquote smarter. Whether you're at home or doing errands, you could turn your lights on and off. Item number three, vacuum sealed containers. I recently did a video on stale fish food and if you want to check that out, look over here. In that video, I recommend using these vacuum sealed containers. Similar to the whole reason why it's a best practice to put your cereal in vacuum sealed containers as opposed to just leaving them in their normal packaging once you open it. The same thing kind of applies with fish flakes and any of your dry fish food. By putting them in a vacuum sealed container like this one, you're essentially extending the shelf life of your fish food by minimizing its exposure to the elements. Item number four is poly filter. Let me actually take it out. Is poly filter. While I'm not necessarily recommending you use this as your day-to-day -day filter, I do recommend you use these in cases of emergency. These essentially help you whenever you're in a pinch and your water parameters are out of whack. As you can see, it removes a whole bunch of things from the water that can potentially harm your fish. This includes harmful organics, ammonia, heavy metals, any form of phosphates, and medication after you're done treating your fish. The awesome thing about this is that it changes colors when it pulls out any of the things I listed earlier. Whatever color it changes to indicates what it is pulling out of your water. So it's kind of like a water tester within itself as well. Anyway, speaking of water parameters, item number five is an API water test kit. Any fish keeper, regardless of how many fish or how many fish tanks they have, should have a water test kit in their arsenal. Test kits are often overlooked, unfortunately, because they aren't exactly the cheapest, but they are completely necessary. You should always stay on top of your water parameters, especially when you are starting up some new tanks. Actually, as a bonus, one second. If you don't want to dish out the money for a water test kit from API, you can also look into the Tetra Easy Strips. You do have to buy both because the six in ones do not account for ammonia. So you have to buy that separately and get the ammonia test strips as well. These relatively are cheaper compared to the API test kit. They come with 25 test strips per bottle. Could actually extend that by cutting the test strips in half, providing you with a cheaper alternative. If you really do want to go all out, I highly recommend you actually just get these test strips in addition to the API test kit because you can use both of them as second opinions to make sure that the readings are aligned. Item number six is oh, Mopani Driftwood. These come from ZooMed. These are the medium size. And the reason why I'm putting this on my list is because you actually get way more by ordering these online on Amazon compared to going to your retail pet store and buying these specific pieces in person. This pack of two is actually the same price as going to Petco or PetSmart and buying one. Look how beautiful that piece is. Best bang for your buck, if you're looking for Mopani, order it on Amazon. Stay tuned for our future tank build, gonna be definitely leveraging these pieces. Item number seven is a water pump. Every fish keeper should definitely have some sort of water pump to do your water changes quicker and more efficiently. This can easily help me do a 50% water change on all my tanks within an hour, just from how strong it is. All you gotta do is hook it up to a tube, put this in the tank, put the other end of the tube down your drain, and this will do all the heavy lifting for you. As I always say, hashtag say no to buckets in 2021 and 2022. So item number seven, get yourself or whoever you're buying your gift for a water pump. Your lower back will thank you later. Item number eight is in this bag. Something I talk about all the time on this channel, and that is a beta leaf hammock. This is kind of like the cheaper alternative to the ZooMed version, but I really like these because it comes with two leaves per suction cup, and you actually get it in a pack of two. Definitely best thing for your buck. Let me cover my eyes. You suction this to the wall, and the beta can rest on two leaves. Beta leaf hammock, bootleg edition. Item number nine, this time we aren't gonna be bootleg. We are actually just gonna go brand name with this one. The ZooMed Ceramic Beta Log. This isn't the floating one. This actually sinks down to the bottom. It gives your beta a nice place to hide and rest whenever they need to. I always stayed away from them because they are kind of artificial looking to an extent. I definitely wanna find a way to incorporate this in one of my future builds. Gonna sneeze. They also do have a floating version of this where it stays on the top of the water column if that is something that you would prefer over the sinking version. Item number 10. Item number 10 is something that I always consistently talk about on this channel as well, and that is silk plants. A big barrier to the fish keeping hobby is that people often don't wanna care for live plants. Completely hear you out, this is your best alternative. So I'll open this up for you guys. Bada bing, bada boom. This glue is too strong. 
okay. It is very soft. There is no way that a beta can tear his or her fins or scales on this. And it gives you the impression of plant life in your tank without the necessary maintenance or added effort of keeping actual plants. Well, obviously I don't know how to count because I'm already at item number 10, but I still have two more items to go. Already added a bonus with the Tetra test strips. I guess I could give you two additional bonuses. Item number 11 is a laser thermometer. We all know aquarium thermometers don't necessarily add to the aesthetic value for your tanks, which is why this is a great one and done solution. You never have to buy any aquarium thermometer ever again. All you need is this one thermometer gun, test the surface of your water, and you get a pretty accurate reading. A very unique item on my list, highly recommend you try out a laser thermometer. I have read online on Reddit and on various forums that a lot of people actually do use this method of measuring their water temperature nowadays. Laser thermometer, item number 11. Last and final item. That was anticlimactic. Let's try this side. All right, well, just gonna go the normal way, I guess. Ah, okay. Last and final item, Higer's Aquarium Gravel Cleaner. I know Higer actually did send this to a few of the fish tubers out there. The listing looked promising, so I decided to spend my own money on this to see if the hype is real. Right from the packaging, it looks like it'll be a better alternative to your conventional gravel cleaners that you normally see in all the fish stores and online. I think there will be a bit of modification needed to actually bring this to its full potential. Adding this onto the list nonetheless as sort of a sneak peek of what's to come. Full review coming soon. Item number 12. There you guys have it. Quick rundown of my top 10 gifts to give any fish keeper within the hobby. You don't necessarily have to take any of my recommendations. Make sure you do your research on each of these individual products before you decide to pull the trigger. My ultimate goal was to give you a starting point as you think about some of those stocking stuffers, if this video brought any value to you, all I'm asking is for you to hit that like button down below. And for those of you who stayed until the end, you are a real one. Let's see, what should you comment down below? If you stayed until the end, comment down below, bing bong, just so I could see who are the real ones. Have a great Thanksgiving for those of you who live in the US. Spend time with your friends and family. Enjoy Black Friday as well. Maybe you wanna wait until that comes to look at some of these items. As I always say, thank you guys for the continued support. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.